Madam Speaker, I rise today to recognize the ninth president of Savannah State University, Mr. Cyrus G. Wiley. At the time called the Georgia State Industrial College for Colored Youths, Mr. Wiley made tremendous strides forward for the oldest public historically black college in the state of Georgia. He started his term in 1921 and was the first alumnus to become president of the school. In that same year, he allowed women to attend for the first time, and he transitioned the college out of its role providing high school programs and into a four-year degree-granting institution. Nearly 100 years later, the school remains a vital part of the Savannah community. They have earned patents in battling Alzheimer's and ALS, built new science and technology buildings, and purchased new property for a new marine lab. I want to thank everyone at Savannah State University, especially President Kimberly Ballard Washington, for following in Mr. Wiley's footsteps to continue breaking barriers. Their commitment to the Savannah community and for, and for providing a great education for the students.